Hey my little sweet faces and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a tutorial using some new Coastal Scents goodies that they sent me. To see how we did this look, make sure you stay tuned. As you can see, we're starting with the Bare Face, going in with Coastal Scents Elite brush set. It is a 24 brush set with bamboo handles as you can see here. These brushes are super soft um, and they work really well as you're going to see throughout this look that we do today. Right now we're going in with our brows using Ardell's Brow Pomade in dark brown. And we're going in shaping them and filling them as we go and then we're going to carve them out with a little bit of concealer. These brushes worked really well for me. I really like them for my brows. Really thin and precise. Picked the product just fine for me. Um, they didn't have a concealer brush that I really liked. I liked something a little bit bigger and fatter. So I went in with my, my usual brush that I use. Um, but here I'm just going to talk about the products that we got from Coastal Scents that they sent me. Um, they were sweet enough to give me some stuff that I could create some looks for you guys. Um, this is my first video using their products. I have some other looks that I've done that you guys can go check out over on Instagram. But here's brows all set for you guys. We're going to jump right in and do our eyes. We used the Revealed Rouge palette. Now this one looks a lot like the Naked Cherry palettes. There's a million palettes that look like this palette so I haven't used any of their eyeshadow palettes in years so I was super excited to get one of their palettes and use it um, these palettes well this palette is super amazing the shadows are so soft they blended out really well they packed the punch I always start really light-handed and then go in and just start packing it in and blending it out and we use about three four colors on each side of this eye and then we put two different colors to shimmer on the middle but we're using all the brushes from the Elite brush set that they sent me. Um, and they worked really well. They blended everything. They packed everything really well. Like I said, I start light and then I start just packing it and blending it up. And once I figure out what I'm doing on one eye, it makes the second eye that I do a lot easier. Because I know exactly what brushes I'm using and what's going on. But you can see how we're working everything in here. Every color gets a different brush. I generally start with a bigger brush and go to a much more smaller precise brush. And when I'm blending the edges as you see here, those are generally a bigger and fluffier brush. But I'll make sure that all the products I use are listed down below for you guys and if I have an exact brush, I will make sure those exact brushes in the brush set is detailed for you so you know exactly what I'm using for each product in each area. And there you have it. Second eye is all done. We're going in and we're putting our primer on from D VDL, which is a blurring primer. And this is our Juvia's Place Magical Foundation. I used the shade 770, I believe it is. Um, but this is a satin finish foundation. Most people think it's a very matte one. It is a satin finish. Um, it throughout the day you see more of your imperfections and stuff like that. But you can make it more matte by um, using a mattifying primer, a mattifying um, setting sprays, and setting powders if that is helpful in any way. Um, but here I am just using one of the brushes from the Elite Brush Set from Coastal Scents and blending in all over the face. Um, I've been more prone to use a brush with anything. I just put exactly what foundation I need and where and I really just keep it where the foundation is. If you go too far all over the face or make these swiping motions, you tend to have more streaks everywhere and we really don't want streaks. We really want to keep our product exactly where it is or within the premises of where you've put it on your face. We don't want movement everywhere that creates motion and too much lines, streaks, like I said. Um, but generally where you have it, this way you don't see me putting these huge dabs and globs all over my face. Then you have cakiness when you go to set it and that kind of stuff. And here I am using a beauty sponge um, and using my setting powder um, on my face and everything like that. I generally go in all of my problem areas like this. Um, that need a little bit more pressing um, and then I'll go with a powder puff all over the rest of my face but this is Ciate London's setting powder for you. Here is another super pigmented and soft product which is the Blush Chew product from Coastal Scents. 
Um, super, super pigmented. I can't express that enough to you. So you got to go super light handed on that. But here we are just lining our lips, getting us ready for those gloss tubes that they have at Coastal Scents. And let me tell you about those. They smell amazing. The pigment is great on those as well. The only thing is they still have that sticky factor, which I know not everybody has those stick less glosses. Um, but sometimes it helps with the price point and making sure that they are still affordable. So pros and cons to everything when it comes to products and everything like that. These are like three bucks generally in Coastal Sense, but they always have amazing sales and whatnot. Anyways, here is the finished look of everything from Coastal Sense they sent me. They sent me a blush palette, an eyeshadow palette, a brush set, along with an extra brush and a few samples. So I hope you guys love it. Coastal Sense is super affordable. Their stuff works amazing. It lasted me all day the pigment is there the blendability is there the performance is there and it's affordable why break the bank when you can look super fabulous all day long for less there's no need to kill yourself over it anyways thanks so much for hanging out with me today guys i hope you love this video this tutorial if you want to see anything else from me make sure you subscribe make sure you go see me on instagram and see all the looks that we are creating this holiday season and all year round and i can't wait to see more of you guys with me i will see you in my next tutorial bye